We are at the North Wilkesboro Speedway for the 29th race of Season 2 of the SCR Wrangler Junior Bush Car National Series. The 9 car of Zachary Fitzwater will lead us to the green flag. Start beside him is the 01 of Tony Newman. The rest of the starting lineup for today's race. All 42 drivers here. Here in the Bush Series, we've only ran this track one time. That was earlier this season. Chris Kyle won in a photo finish. Ironically enough, Chris Kyle will be starting shotgun dead last here today. This is the second of three times we'll be racing at this track here in the Bush Series. We will run this track one more time in Season 3, and it will disappear forever off of this series until NASCAR returns to it, which they never will. I'd like to thank you all for still watching these races, despite the fact it takes a long time to upload these sometimes. So those of you that are still following, Hopefully you're still enjoying it. I promise you the next series we do will be on will be uploaded on a more consistent basis. It's just been really hectic during the summertime. I haven't had time to record. So yeah. There are six races to go here in season two. And of course whoever wins the championship will get the honor of picking what series we do next. That'll be a new reward. If you win the championship, you pick any series you want. Hopefully it's not the VA Supercars. And without any further ado, here is the most famous words in all of motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! The driver who finished last in the previous race at this track will be starting 31st. That is Patrick Smith. He did not even complete a single lap at this track. Sammy Sabby Jr. won the last event at Richmond. He'll be looking to win back-to-back -back races. There he is, the 17 car. Has three career wins in the Bush Series, all coming in his debut season. We got a packed crowd, a full field. Pace car will pull in. We're going to pull them belts tight one more time as we race here at North Wilkesboro for the second time in series history and for 40 laps. And... Zachary Fitzwater puts the hammer down a race in here at North Wilkesboro. And he immediately jumps in front of Tony Newman. Whoa, he already got a crash. Oh, it's the, oh my god, it's the big one already. Racing towards turn number three. And a turn number four. Zachary Fitzwater will lead the first lap here at North Wilkesboro. And as the field slows to get behind the pace car, we'll take a look and see about the first caution of the day. So here's the cause of caution. Much like the first event in North Wilkesboro, the inside line gets a huge run. The 04 Gatlin Downey hits the number 90 Matt Boyer. They come back across the track right in front of traffic. Sebastian Torres gets a lot of damage. Toby Fox, Maria Valverin, Diego Yepes, Matt Hamill, Jack Lagacy, Shuttle, Riley Spurley Tube, Eric Wayne, Patrick Smith, James Stabilito, Eric Wayne, Marco Yepes, Keko Silver Paul, Joshua Rush, Brian Fox, Henry Urchman, Chris Kyle, Alexo Antonio, Sammy Sabri Jr. And then we got more contact up here, I believe. Where are they? Uh, there it is. The three, Jay Jefferson trying to escape the chaos in turn one. It makes contact with Eric Wayne. And Jay Jefferson nails the outside wall head on, destroying his car even more. Here comes Shuttle, nails the three. And then more contact between those cars as you see Kaka Silver Paul slides up the track right in front of Alexo Antonio sitting in the 51 over and flipping. We have not even completed a lap yet and we already have a car flipping. And Sammy Savvy Jr. gets more damage. Well that is classic North Wilkesboro. And then the sixth decides to nail the 71. 
Well, this will take a while to clean up. Once we get it cleaned up, we will take it back to the restart. And we are back, and once again, that was a huge, big one. We only have 34 cars left. Several have damage and are lapsed down. Second, Fitzwater is our race leader. Second is Christian Vargas. Third is Tony Newman. Fourth, Ryan Boyer. Fifth, Joe Jefferson. Sixth, Gustav Ochoa. Seventh, Nick Kennedy. Eighth, Connor Hurley. Ninth, Ian Carnello. And tenth is Con Vargas. Kion, Kion Vargas, I guess how I say his name. Zachary Fitzwater will once again lead him back to the green. See if we can get a lap under green conditions as we got a car coming up pit road. That's the 89 of Toby Fox right in front of the race leaders. And the caution is out yet again. Yep. So we're racing it back. And Fitzwater will maintain his race lead. Oh, we got another wreck. Nope, we're good. Well, as the field catches back up, we'll take a look at the second caution of the day. So here's the cause of caution. Al Legacy racing with Daniel Grichach. Contact between the two cars sends Al Legacy up the track right in front of A.J. Jones. A.J. nails him in the driver's door. Here comes Sebastian Torres getting involved in his second incident of the day. Both cars spin around, and here comes Jack Legacy, championship contender. He also gets involved. So Jack has now been in two incidences. You think that's it? Nope, we are not done yet. Because we go further up ahead. To... Where is it at? Here it is. So Patrick Smith, the first North Wilkesboro last place finisher, comes up the track in front of Jack Legacy, gets clipped. And Patrick Smith spins right in front of Joshua Rush. The two cars make contact into the outside wall. A pretty decent impact. I'm pretty sure Patrick Smith's going to want to stay away from North Wilkesboro because he has had horrible luck. Now we go further up ahead. There is another incident. As we continue to do caution laps around here in North Wilkesboro, we clean this mess up. Gustav Archoa, our Bristol race winner in the fall, gets spun out by the 19 car Nick Kennedy. Right in front of Connor Hurley. Oh, Hurley gets damage and Gustav Archoa nails the outside wall. Once again, Connor Hurley has horrible luck here in this series. He led at Darlington and then blew up. Did not do too well at Richmond and now gets damaged here at North Wilkesboro. Well, we'll clean this mess up and we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. The 28 of Jack Legacy is out of the race. That is going to hurt his championship hopes. We have 33 cars left. Three of them are lapped down. Zachary Fitzwater is a race leader. Second is Christian Vargas. Third, Tony Newman. Fourth, Joe Jefferson. Fifth, Ryan Boyer. Sixth, Nick Kennedy. Seventh, Ian Carnello. Eighth, Connor Hurley. Ninth, Con Vargas. And tenth is Sam and Austin. Pace car pulls in. Fitzwater looking to get another great restart. And there's the green. See if we actually can't complete a lap under green this time. Oh, caution is out already, immediately. Whoa, the two cars stalled in turn four. Racing it back to the line. And Zachary Fitzwater will maintain his race lead. Any other incidents we got going on? Nope. All right. Oh, the third caution is out. We'll take a look and see what brought it out. So here's the cause of caution. Gustav Archoa, our Bristol race winner, running then 14th at the time, goes to the low lane to try and get out of everybody's way. And coming into turn number four, his car just loses power as everybody goes around him. And thankfully, everybody does avoid him. And Gustav just stalls on the track right there. And that'll bring out the caution. Tough break for Gustav Archoa. He is a part-time driver looking to get yet another win this season. It's not going to happen now. 
as he teleports back to Pet Road. The team will have to see if that problem he has is terminal or not. Hopefully for him it's not. Well, this should be a quickie caution. We'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. We are a lap away from the halfway mark. The 62 car of Marco Jepez is out of the race due to a tire problem. So we only have, we still have one, two, three, four cars that all lap down. 28 on the lead lap. Zachary Fitzwater is still our race leader. So we are not even halfway yet. This is going to be a wreck fest of a race. Zachary Fitzwater puts the hammer down once again. Gets a great jump. The first two cars get past lap traffic. And we got more wrecks. Yep, there it is. Chris Kyle, AJ Jones, Riley Spurley Tube, Sebastian Torres again. And battle for the lead. Tony Newman trying to get it, but he just can't get around Fitzwater. And Fitzwater will keep his race lead as we are now past the halfway mark. Well, we'll take a look at the caution. So here's the cause of the caution. The four car, A.J. Jones, right in front of Gustav Archoa. See if there's contact. Yeah, there's definitely contact. Archoa hits A.J. Jones, who goes up the track, hits the 70 car, right in front of Sam and Oskin. Hard into the outside wall. The cars are going to drift down the track like they normally do. Brian Fox is able to avoid. Chris Kyle nails the four. Starts smoking immediately. Henry Urchman tries to slam on the brakes, but does not in time. He gets damage. Sebastian Torres nails the 15. The third time he's been involved in a wreck today. But we are not done yet, as they say. As we have more incidences. The one Carter Friesian. Gets spun out by the 24 of Carter, of Connor Hurley, excuse me. Nails the outside wall, but it keeps on going, so we seem to be all right. Until we get to turn number one. That's where Eli Bright in the number eight. Gets contact from Ryan Boyer. Which will send Eli Bright into the 19 car, Nick Kennedy. And then Eli Bright is going to head towards the outside wall head on. Nick Kennedy gets more damage. And Eli Bright's car is completely destroyed. That was a huge head on hit by the eight. Go on board with him. See, they've already crossed the line, so the caution is already out. And nails turn one. Well, that's the cause of the caution, as well as the other wrecks we had afterwards. We'll clean this mess up, and once we do, we will take you back to the restart. And we are back. Just before we came back to get this restart, Deano Grachach broke a header, so he is out. The 88 is out. The 8 is out. And, yeah. We have 28 cars to make that 27 cars still in this race. Three are a lap down. Second, Fitzwater Star is our race leader. Second is Tony Newman. Third, Christian Vargas. Fourth, Joe Jefferson. Fifth, Ian Carnelli. Sixth, Con Vargas. Seventh, Marcus Sanchi. Eighth, Zeptos Amaritos. Ninth, James Stabilito. And tenth is Nick Kennedy. And we're back to racing here at North Wilkesboro. We still have not yet completed a lap under green. And I don't think we will. Yep. You heard the spinning. Oh, maybe. Maybe. In a turn three. In a turn four. Look at this huge pack of cars. And we will complete a lap under green. A new record for North Wilkesboro. Of course, we got lap down drivers here. Tony Newman trying to defend against Gene Carnello. Or Ken Nero, how do you say his name? As, oh, we got a wreck. There it is. There we go, yep. 
We're racing it back, and Zachary Fitzwater will keep his race lead. And we're going to get this race restarted with less than 10 laps to go. Which means lap down drivers will stay where they are at right now. Well, we'll take a look at the caution. So here's the cause of caution. We had a huge pack of cars here. Marcus Sanchi makes contact with the 40 car. Zaptos Amarados sending the 40 car into the 2. And Marcus Sanchi spins out the 40 car even more. Sanchi keeps going on. Amarado spins out. Then we got more cars involved. Joe Jefferson. Maria Valverin. Brian Fox got damage. Keka Whiteline got damage. And that is pretty much it. A multi-car accident here in turn three, but everybody is able to continue on. But we'll clean this mess up in turn three. Once we do, we will take you back to the restart with less than 10 laps to go. And we are back. Going to get this race restarted with eight laps to go. We still have 27 cars in this race, 23 on the lead lap. D22 broke a header. That's why he is out of the race. Eight laps to go. Fitzwater has Tony Newman right behind him. Car in the lead lap. And then we got two between him and Christian Vargas. And we are... Back to racing here. No folks, barrel. No pass before you get to your line. Now you can. Eight to go here in the wreck fest here at No folks, bro. Down the back stretch. Seven and a half laps to go. Tony Newman peeking out, trying to get under the nine. Just can't do it. Seven laps to go. As you see, Toby Fox coming back onto the track, multiple laps down due to the damage he's received during several wrecks. Fitzwater's pulled away just a little bit as we got a huge thing of smoke in turn three, but no caution yet. Six, up oh, there's the caution. And be less than five laps to go. So we will have a shootout yet again here at No Fox Pro. We'll take a look at the we'll take a look at the caution. Here's the cause of caution. Two damaged cars, Nick Kennedy and the one Carter Friesian battling. And Carter Friesian spun out Nick Kennedy for position two. And there you see the flagman closing pit road. Nick Kennedy spins, and that is enough to trigger the caution. This will be a quickie one. We'll take you back to the restart with less than five laps to go. And we are back. We are going to get the green with one lap to go. So we will have a one lap shootout. Lap down drivers will not be in the way. We got three cars separated from lap traffic. So Zachary Fitzwater, Tony Newman, Christian Vargas, Gene Carnello. Actually, we got four. So we got four car shootout for the race win. Pace car pulls in. One lap shootout to see who will win the second ever event here at North Wilkesboro. Can Zachary Fitzwater hang on? And be a dominator. There's the white flag. And we're back to racing. One lap to go. Christian Vargas gets a huge jump going into turn number one. And to turn number two. Christian Vargas with a run. Down to back stretch for the final time. Fitzwater pulls away. And to turn number three. And to turn number four. Zachary Fitzwater, the dominator. For the first time in over a year, he will score a win. He wins here at North Wilkes Barrow. Well, we had a dominator, but at least, whoa, at least we had a green flag finish. Here he races out. Zachary Fitzwater scores his first win in over a year. His last win came in season one and the second ever event at Richmond. So he has been looking for a win for well over a year. It's been almost two years if this season had been completed. Second, Christian Vargas, his best show in ever. Third, Tony Newman. Fourth, Ian Carnello. Fifth, Marcus Sanchi. Sixth, Con Vargas. Seventh, Sam and Austin. Eighth, James Stabilito. Ninth, Connor Hurley. And tenth was Al Legacy. We had 22 drivers finish the race on the lead lap. Several were a lap down. And Toby Fox limped home across the star finish line three laps down. Rest of your race results. Everybody out was due to Rex except for Marco Jepez who had tire problems. And Daniel Krachach who broke a header. And Alexo Antonio finishes last. This will be his third last place finish of the season. 
Not a good season for Alexo Antonio aside from his win in the season opener. Well, that is it for North Wilkesboro for Season 2. We will take you to Victory Lane for the first time in well over a year with the number 9 car of Zachary Fitzwater. Here are your points in at the 29th race of the season in North Wilkesboro. Keiko White Lion has a 92 point lead over North Wilkesboro race winner Zachary Fitzwater. Third is Riley Spurley, 117 points behind. Fourth is Brian Fox, 173 points behind. So mathematically, with five races, with technically six races to go, we have four drivers that can win the championship. Fifth, Jack Legacy has been mathematically eliminated, at least for now, 201 points behind. Sixth is Al Legacy, 212 points behind. Seventh is Gatlin Downey, 367 points behind. Eighth is Jay Jefferson, 377 points behind. Ninth is Diego Yepes, 396 points behind. And tenth is Sammy Sabby Jr., 417 points behind. 11th is Derek Camille, 12th Ian Carnello, 13th Matt Boyer, 14th Joshua Rush, 15th AJ Jones, 16th Eli Bright, 17th Sam at Oskin, 18th is James Sabolito, 19th Matt Hamill, and 20th is Chris Kyle. 21st is Carter Friesian, 22nd is Sebastian Torres, 23rd Henry Urshman, 24th Ryan Boyer, 25th Connor Hurley, 26th Nick Kennedy, 27th is Daniel Grachach, 28th is Toby Fox, 29th is Alexo Antonio, and 30th is Joe Jefferson. 31st is Maria Valverin, 32nd is Patrick Smith, 33rd is Marco Jepez, 34th is Eric Wayne, 35th is Shuttle, 36th is Gustav Arachoa, 37th is Con Vargas, 38th Tony Newman, 39th Zaptos Amaritos, and 40th is Christian Vargas. 41st Marcus Sanchi, 42nd Kaka Silverpaul, and last in points is still Oreos. So that is your point standings after the 29th race of the season in North Wilkesboro. We will next see you at the 30th race of the season at the South Boston Speedway for the fifth and final event at that track here in Season 2. So all the drivers will be competing. There will be a 42-car field. And until we see you at South Boston, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.